Rebecca Gosavi, Lactation Consultant at Manipal Hospital, Kharadi, Pune. We have all heard about the story of Hirkani, the milkmaid, who lived at the foothills of Raigad during the times of Shivaji Maharaj. How, with her determination and grit, she climbed down the steep slope just to embrace and breastfeed her child. Our today's mothers are no less than the modern Hirkani. They face so many challenges and have to scale a mountains of difficulties like unsupportiveness, myths, misunderstandings related to breastfeeding, unsupportive work environment, ruthless practices by formula making companies. We as individuals all need to educate ourselves and support the mothers in their breastfeeding journey. It is our moral responsibility to see that each child reaches to its optimal level of physical, mental, emotional and intellectual well-being. WHO and UNICEF has given us some guidelines for successful breastfeeding. The first guideline talks about early initiation, meaning immediately after the baby is born, it is given to the mother with maximum skin to skin contact immediately within 5 minutes of birth. This first skin to skin contact continues till the first breastfeeding. After it is seen, after the initiation, breastfeeding needs to be continued with exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life. After the completion of six months, it is decided to start with proper complementary feeding, which is hygienically made, homemade, freshly prepared in the right amount and continuing breastfeeding till a minimum of two years. When the mother is breastfeeding, she needs to talk and interact with her child so that the brain stays active. So, if we follow these guidelines, it is seen that in any locality, any state or any part of the world, the child reaches to its optimum level of development and growth. So friends, let us all come together to prevent malnutrition, infant mortality and under 5 deaths. Thank you.